Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to play again with the Christmas designs and this time it is going to be a sugar ring and a Christmas bubble so not over the top for those clients which don't like the nails which are overdone. Have a wee preview of it in here. Yeah, nice and red and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial so let's start! I have painted the two tips in red and that's a 174 color uh, just to save you a time so you don't have to watch that and then I have applied top coat over them so they will be for a Christmas bubble so does this one as well but we will do three different designs so the same color I'm going to put it on my mixing palette and then we are starting to paint the Christmas bubbles So I want the large one on the bottom. And I'm painting just a rounded shape. Then perfect it. And then slightly smaller one for which I can use the dotting tool now, just because of its size. and then give it a cure. And here we are going to do some Christmas bubbles as well, but slightly different. So we will use the French gel. And now I have swapped to the liner brush. So I'm just painting a line. And then swapping to the de detail brush. So I'm cleaning off the red, picking up the white, clean it off again. Uh, let your brush soak the white color because otherwise you will paint pink. Now this part is quite hard because we want to paint it around the shape but we have no room for a mistake this time. So I'm painting pretty slow.
I would say that's pretty hard because you have no room for mistake. Okay, now I'm going to perfect it. And then paint some shine in the bubble. You can also paint it like a very simple snowflake in there. Okay, and then swap to the deliner brush and paint another one on the top. And detail brush. I wouldn't be able to paint um, with the long brush, definitely not. This one is behaving more like a pen and I'm holding the brush like a pen. And this is the best tip I can guys give it to you. If you're painting nail art, any kind of design, just hold your brush like a pen. Okay, and this time I'm going to paint a star in there. and the shine. Okay, we are also going to outline it and add couple snow. So again, deliner. I actually really like those frame for the Christmas designs. Don't make it too thin like uh, you wanted it to be visible.
Okay, now add the detail. So I'm going to pick up the dotting tool. The detail brush. And we've got some Christmas bubbles. We are going to sprinkle it with the sugar. Sugar is a must have for the winter time. Actually, not yet. Sorry, guys. It didn't look nice. That's it. Now I can sprinkle it. So the sugar is going to stick in only to the white gel and it's not going to stick into the top coat because the top coat is a no wipe top gel. Cure it. Okay, let's go back to our next Christmas bubble. And now we are going to do with the white some snowflakes as well. And we design inside this one. And a snowflake. And this one is so small. You can really kind of create any design inside the Christmas bubble you wish. Uh, actually, Christmas jumpers are a good inspiration. Like They've got lots of different patterns. Dotting tool for the wee dots. Now I'm going to flash cure it. And quickly paint another bubble in there. Okay, and this one is going to be a different shape. I actually really like that those shape that uh, Christmas bubbles. So I'm trying to do it thin lines first, just so I've got some room for improvement. And now once I've got the shape, I can go a little bit thicker. Because again, we want to leave the space inside empty.
Okay, and for this one, we are going FAV design inside. Paint the top. And do the outline line. So again, I have picked up lots of product on just so I could paint slightly quicker. Okay, the one Christmas bubble I think will feel lonely. So we are going to do one and second one, but keep it as a very simple design. So I'm not going to clean it from red. And they're just tiny. and a love heart. I was just feeling it was a little bit too empty. The tops. And then sprinkle it with the sugar. Well, add the dots. Dots always looks good. And now sprinkle with the sugar. So one side first. And let's go back to those cool ones. So I am going to clean off the D-liner brush from the white. So when I'm cleaning, I want to roll my brush and we'll pick up some black. 183. Close the white. Pick up the black and then clean the brush again, because otherwise I will have gray. Okay, now. Nice and firm. Nice and thin. And the top.
and a wee red bow. I've got my brush a bit dirty from the black, so it will be slightly darker red. Okay, we give it a cure and then we are going to um, build it up. So I'm going to grab the clear gel slightly bigger brush and now we are going to build it up so it's a 3D look. up a decent scoop like and I'm kind of trying to lift it up because by the time I finish it it will start running down you could do it one at a time Okay, and now I'm going to cook it and then I can show you the final look after applying the top coat. So top coat. <laughs> I have been doing so many designs. Oh there we are, that's a brand new one. This is my third top. So that's a very simple Christmas bubbles. We will be definitely doing a crystal ones as well, like I love them so much. I mean, at least I hope just we find the time for it. <laughs> it's been a really busy season, guys. <clears throat> okay, this one is ready. I love this one so much. So take a dust brush and just brush it away. I love it how it's showing off like after it's done. No, it has to go to the left. And I actually love to show you on those display um, once the results are done. That's another one. And they will go to get uh, to the snowflake collection, which we have already created or at which will come up. Let me grab a bit more sticky tack and that's uh, how I'm attaching it to Olivia so uh, the person who is modeling as my daughter so I don't want to damage her nails like constantly applying and taking off the press on nails so we just use the blue tack <laughs> to take a picture <laughs> okay this one is cooked as well and it can go in the middle here and we will just stick them like, just like this Roman is laughing now. Okay, so that's what we have created today. Very simple kind of uh, Christmas bubble uh, designs. Uh, but I hope you really like them as well. Sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now. Mm -hmm.